Trump administration taking sides in Venezuela's crisis, backing the country's opposition leader, refusing to pull U.S. diplomats out of that country. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo is saying this, quote, the U.S. does not recognize the Maduro regime of the government of Venezuela. Accordingly, the U.S. does not consider former President Nicolas Maduro to have the legal authority to break diplomatic relations with the United States or declare our diplomats persona non grata, end quote. Maduro said get out within three days. Apparently that's not going to happen. Steve Harrigan watching the latest on this volatile situation that might shape up like a revolution. Steve. It certainly could happen. That's what people are worried about on the ground in Venezuela and really across the world. It's not just the U.S. that is lining up to back one of these two men who is calling himself the president of Venezuela. It's really the whole world picking sides. On the one hand, you have Nicolas Maduro, a one-time bus driver and Hugo Chavez acolyte. He was reelected last year in an election widely seen as fraudulent by the U.S. and by dozens of other countries. He still has the backing of the military and the security forces. He says he's not going anywhere. He is inside the presidential palace in Venezuela. He's also backed by Russia and China. On the other side, you have the interim president, Juan Guaido. He's been recognized by the U.S., by Canada, and by much of South America. He had several hundred thousand protesters out in support of him on Wednesday. He gave himself the oath of office. So you have two men calling themselves the president of Venezuela. Nicolas Maduro has sharply reacted to the U.S. move. He said the time for gringo interventions is over in South America. He's given U.S. diplomats 72 hours to get out. Right after he issued that order, the second man calling him president, himself president said, no, the U.S. diplomats don't have to leave. What really is interesting now is to watch what happens next. Will the protesters come back out on the streets? And what will Maduro do with the man calling himself president, now backed by the U.S.? Those protests were violent yesterday. There were water cannons and rocks, but they weren't crushed by security forces. The big thing that's different, Maduro has not arrested the opposition leader. He's perhaps not willing to take that risk and raise the stakes that high yet. Bill, back to you. Thank you, Steve. Steve Harrigan watching that. In a